Aloha from very sunny Kona this morning. So we are here in Kona, Hawaii, and I'm really looking forward to our shore excursion this morning. So we are doing the historic Kona shore excursion with Norwegian Cruise Lines. And I'm really excited to show you what we get up to today. The last time I was here in Kona in December 2019, they did actually have a market as well on Wednesdays, Wednesdays and Saturdays. So I was told that they are going to have the market open again today. So really looking forward to trying to see if that is happening. Uh, so I'm going to head upstairs, grab a light breakfast before we actually tender to the island. So let's get the day going. We had breakfast at the Aloha Cafe, then made our way down to the Hollywood Theater, which was the meeting place for the shore excursions to go ashore. Kona is a port that cruise ships have to tender, which means they anchor out in the bay and most ships use their lifeboats as tender boats to get you ashore. On our way being tendered to shore, we saw some dolphins swimming alongside us. Once on shore, we had an unfortunate change to our shore excursion, as one of the coach buses broke down, so our excursion was changed to now leave in the afternoon. So we changed our order in which we were doing things here and decided to walk around Kona and explore this morning instead. Unfortunately, when we visited Kona in May 2022, there was still quite a bit closed. Hopefully they will be able to recover and more shops and restaurants will be open soon, if not already. They do still have a farmer's market here in Kona on Wednesdays and Saturdays. However, it was not as large as my previous visit. It still featured some local art and produce, however. After walking around Kona, we decided to head back to the ship to drop off some chocolates that my aunt bought at the ABC store and have a light lunch at the Cadillac Diner before heading back to Kona for our historic Kona shore excursion with Norwegian Cruise Lines. Our first stop on our shore excursion was the Royal Kona Museum and Coffee Mill. I did purchase a couple bags of coffee here after trying a few samples, but this stop was really just a shopping stop. Our second stop on our shore excursion was the Painted Church, which is the St. Benedict's Catholic Church built between 1899 and 1902. As we are still on the big island of Hawaii, which is the newest island, there really isn't any soil, just lava rock here. So graves are built on top of the lava rock as obviously you can't dig into the rock below. Our final stop of this tour was at Pu'u Onoa O Ahununau National Historical Park. This place was royal grounds and a place of refuge in the time of Kapu, meaning that if you broke a law or during the times of war, you could elude your pursuers, come here and be absolved by a priest and seek safety in this place of refuge, if you made it, that is. 
It remains a sacred place of peace, calm, and refuge to Hawaiians to this day. You can watch a video on the history here in the amphitheater, and the rangers also do have some talks here daily. I would highly suggest coming here on your own with a rental car, as right next door in the same bay as the National Historic Park, there is a beach area that has amazing snorkeling. I was able to see the brightest yellow fish from the shore. I could only imagine how it would have been snorkeling in the water. It was then time to head back to the ship and sail away from Kona, onwards to Kauai. We had dinner at Jefferson's Bistro, or Le Bistro again. I had the French onion soup, followed by a cauliflower velouté with scallops and truffle oil. For my main, I tried the pork chop, followed by the Fraser for dessert. We then enjoyed a gin and tonic with some live music in Pink's Champagne Bar. We then went and checked out the Glow Party in the Mardi Gras nightclub afterwards. Aloha! So as you can tell, it is the next morning. We are here on Kauai now, but that's going to be in the next episode. So as you saw, it's really just sometimes things don't work out as planned. So it's all about being patient. And right now that's kind of how things are, unfortunately, when it comes to travel right now. So um, I hope you still enjoyed this episode and what the historic Kona tour was all about through the Norwegian Cruise Line. And be sure to stay tuned for next week because I am going to show you, um, we're actually renting a car here on uh, Kauai and we're actually gonna do, so tomorrow because we do have an overnight, we are going to go to the north end of the island uh, today and then we're actually gonna go to Waimea Canyon tomorrow. So stay tuned for that episode next week. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help support my channel. And also be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so that you do see what we get up to today. So thank you again so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.